Good work, Candy. Let's pick up the pace a bit, Grouchy. You're smurfing behind. I hate Brainy. Hefty smurf. Stop! You'll break your smurf. Wait, I'm coming up. I see you haven't heard the wise old saying about the smurf sitting on the wrong side of the branch. Think before you smurf. What's going to happen when that branch smurfs off? Saw from the other side, see? You mean like this? Right. Now you can go on sawing smurf and sound. Aren't you lucky I was smurfing by? I sure was, Brainy. Well, I hope this will teach you to be more... Smurfing on the job like that. I'll tell Papa Smurf and he's not gonna like this one little... Papa Smurf, where are you when I need you? And a pinch of mandrake root as a Smurfalist. There! Now to see if this new fertilizer works. On you, Lazy Daisy. Ah, uh, it's growing. That's it. I've done it. I've got flower power. Oh, my. What's happening? I, I must have made a mistake. Yes, I added a smurf too much. Huh? Yay! A smurfivorous plant. Would you bite the hand that waters you? Here, stick to this, will you? Hey! Smurf your tendrils off me! Help! Help! That's Papa Smurf! Uh, Papa Smurf! Quick! Quick! I can't breathe! Let go of Papa Smurf, you gone crazy daisy! Help! Hefty, go straight for the root of the matter. Right, Papa Smurf! Ouch! Are you all right, Papa Smurf? Yes, but this new fertilizer I invented is dangerous. I cannot change it, so take it to the desert beyond the forest and bury it. Okay, Papa Smurf. Come on, lady. It's a smurf of a long way to the desert. I'm tired. My feet are tired. And this shovel is getting heavy. Can we stop for a nap? Look at that! A ravine? For what? Well, it's a lot closer than the desert. Yeah! Wait! Papa Smurf told us to smurf it underground! Well, what ground could be further under than that? Well... Um... I suppose it is. Here goes! Good riddance! Smurf us any more trouble now? Yeah, we should make it back to the village just in time for bed.
Oh, this is terrible. I feel so guilty I can't even sleep. Maybe Hefty was right. We should have smurfed that fertilizer in the desert like Papa Smurf said. Maybe Hefty will know what to do. What the? What's smurfing on? I better go home. What is it? Who's there? Hey, who's disturbing my beauty sleep? What's all the noise? I hate noise. No, it wasn't my trumpet. Oh, dear. Is every Smurf all right? Papa Smurf says that noise in the night upsets your balance for the next day and... What's all this racket? Has anything happened to any Smurf? Mm, me, Papa Smurf, it went flap, flap, and then it went boom, and I saw a huge shadow, and it smurfed out a loud howly howl. A loud howly howl? Hmm. Papa Smurf! Papa Smurf! The storehouse is wrecked, and all the food has been smurfed! The storehouse? Oh, who could have smurfed such a thing? Papa Smurf, come look at this! Bird tracks! That bird must be a real monster! So a giant bird ate all our food! All those chestnuts and corn and sarsaparilla and all that yummy honey. <sighs> Why, Smurf, I just hope it hasn't destroyed the bridge. We wouldn't be able to cross the river and get more food. <sighs> all of you, come with me to check the bridge. I hate checking bridges. Well, it seems to be Smurf and Sound. Then we better get some more food, right, Papa Smurf? Where did it come from? I hate monster birds. Look out! Here it comes again! It's smurfing our bridge! I hate falling. Every smurf back to the village! to protect ourselves from this, this smurfiverous bird. I hate smurf, red, uh, smurf, smurf, I hate birds. Smurfiverous? Hmm. That bird reminds me of the plant that attacked me in my lab. I told you we should have smurfed it in the desert. Yeah, but you... Hefty, lazy, yes, Papa Smurf. And you buried the fertilizer potion in the desert like I told you? Well, uh, lazy, I mean, uh, Oh, the truth is! We smurfed it into a ravine, Papa Smurf. A ravine? How could you disobey my orders on such an important matter? And you should never disobey Papa Smurf's orders because... Take cover! Papa Smurf's orders? You 
transfer all sorts of trouble down on your head. <laughs> There, now let's see the howly bird get through that door. Howly owl! Well, I knew he couldn't get through the door. Howly owl! this old crossbow and... Why, Smurf Handy, that's not a bad idea. Wow! <laughs> 
too small. Papa Smurf says never to leave a stone unturned. Papa Smurf says... Fire! I'll tell Papa Smurf on you, Hefty. Didn't have to smurf up something else. <gasps> no, no, that won't smurf. Oh. Oh. I've... No, no, that's no good either. Oh. I've got it! He got it! Daisy, Hefty, do you remember exactly where you threw that fertilizer potion? Sure, Papa Smurf! Good, take me there. We'll leave after dark. Before the holly bird wakens at dawn. <laughs> Is it much further? Not far now! <laughs> Is it much further? Not far now! <laughs> Is it much further? Yes, it is! Uh, the bottle landed about halfway down, Papa Smurf. Let's get to work. It'll be dawn soon. There's the fertilizer potion, Papa Smurf! There's just enough left. What are you gonna do with that stuff, Papa Smurf? I'm going to reverse the properties of this potion and turn the holly bird back to normal. I hope. I don't think we're gonna make it, Papa Smurf! Yeah, it's almost dawn. Then run faster! Howling, 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 then smurf out the catapult while I reverse this fertilizer potion. Here we come! Ready! Fire! I'll feed him this reversed fertilizer potion. Keep your smurfs crossed. Hefty, when I say the word, give the holly bird a good kick in the you-know-what. Greedy, untie its beak. Ready? Smurf it, Hefty! Of course, and... Ow, ow, ow. So 
we won't have any more headaches from the howly bird and ouch! suddenly jumped over the wall and ran as fast as he could. Oh! Hurry, little mousey! Hurry! Fangs bared, the big red cat lunged over the wall. I hate cats! I couldn't agree with you more, Grouchy. Why, just the other day, I was this close to being Azriel's lunch. Are all cats mean and nasty like Azriel, Papa Smurf? Azriel is a cat and is neither mean nor nasty. A cat is a cat. Natural Smurf is right, my little Smurfs. A cat is a cat. Oh! A cat is a cat! Get him, you dumb cat! Get him! Don't let the feeding rat take my cheese! Go! You're a no-good cat, Azriel. I despise you. You can't catch mice. You can't catch birds. You can't catch Smurfs. You're good for nothing. You eat my food. You sleep on my bed. You give me fleas. I've had enough. Get out. Out! Out! But Gargamel treats his cat terribly, Baba Smurf. Makes you wonder why the cat doesn't just leave. Believe it or not, my little Smurfs, they need each other. It's part of the very special relationship between a master and his pet. Oh, gosh, Papa Smurf, could I be the master of a pet? We'll see about that in the morning, Clumsy. Time for bed now, my little Smurfs, and sleep well. Good night, Papa Smurf. Golly, first thing in the morning, I'm going to ask Papa Smurf if I can have a pet cow. <laughs> well, if Papa Smurf lets you have a cow, I'm sure he'll let me have a peacock. I'll ask Papa Smurf if I can have a pet bear. <laughs> I'll surprise everybody with my pet. I hate your pet. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Time to eat your supper. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. So starve to death, you stupid cat. And we all want pets, Papa Smurf. Clumsy wants a cow, and I'd like a pet horse, Papa Smurf. I'd like a peacock. I'd like a bear. I'd like a giraffe. Oh, please, please, Papa Smurf, can we? I'm sorry, but I don't think those are suitable pets for little Smurfs. Oh. However, I have no objection to Smurfy pets. Hooray! Well, say, as long as we're going to have pets, why not have a pet show? Hooray! And prizes! Hooray! Prizes for everyone! Prizes for the biggest pet, the smallest pet, the funniest pet, the cutest pet, the smartest pet, the most original pet, and, well, of course, it is obvious that we cannot have a pet show until we all have pets. So I, Brainy Smurf, announce that the pet hunting expedition is now... ...official. The trouble with you, Azriel, is you're nothing but a common cat. A worthless pet. <coughs> worthless. Ordinary in the extreme. But not for long. Once you partake of this glorious pie, my pet, you will no longer be ordinary. Uh -huh. No, you will be the ultimate Smurf catcher. Oh, I'll fry a few and pickle a few and then I'll eat some cold. Your dinner, my pet. <laughs> enjoy, enjoy. Uh -huh. Eat that pie and enjoy it before I turn you into a wet mouse. Ooh, dirt tarts! I put too much mud in the pie. And if you remember to speak quietly, the forest creatures will always come to you. Try this, Smurfette, and remember what I taught you. Like this, Snap? That's perfect, Smurfette. Oh, I hope I smurf a butterfly just like yours, Nat. You will, if you're very patient. Oh, I'll be very, very patient. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Time for din din. <coughs> I have something for you. Your dessert, my pet. 
Eat that pie before I turn you into a pie! A cow? You curses! Too much milk in the pie! What you doing? Trying to catch a butterfly for the pet show. What about you? Uh, same here. Keep trying, Clumsy. You'll find something if you're patient. Oh, I do hope my butterfly comes soon. I've been patient for three hours. I said eat, 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 eat! <laughs> if you don't eat that pie, I'll... <laughs> oh, too many eggs in the pie. Uh, ladybug, ladybug, don't fly away. We're having a pet show on this very day. Wait until it's dark. <laughs> then we'll show them. I hate spiders. Oh, that Smurfy pet. Oh, I do hope my butterfly comes along soon. I'm getting so tired. in arguing my pet. <laughs> Eat this pie! <laughs> At last, my glowing darling. Oh, they'll never be able to resist you, my pet. Never, never! Come on, little rock. We're almost home. <laughs> yep, that's right, baby Smurf. And then we'll... <laughs> Oh, gee, Baby Smurf, I've never seen anything like this before. <laughs> you sure seem to like each other. I guess you found your pet, too. <laughs> la, 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 la. What are we waiting for? I hate waiting for. We can start the show as soon as Clumsy returns. As soon as it's dark, my pet, we will illuminate them with your brilliance. Here comes Clumsy now! Oh! Ah! Oh, hi, everybody! Sorry I'm late, but it took me forever to find my pet. It's... it's beautiful. It sure is! And you don't have to feed it, you don't have to brush it, you don't have to... Not the rock, Clumsy! That... that... That glowing darling! <laughs> oh, how cute! Amazing! Grouchy, I'm going to the library. Keep an eye on that darling. I hate that darling! And now for the talent contest! <laughs> oh, have you seen my fuzzy clumsy? I can't find him anywhere! Oh, sorry, Smurfette, sure haven't. Oh, if I don't find him soon, I won't be able to enter him in the talent contest. Glow, glow, glow. Mm, glow? Well, it certainly does glow. Harmony and his cricket, Horace. Yeah! Oh, Vanity, have you seen my fuzzy? Why, no, Smurfette, I haven't. But I'll be sure to let you know if I do. Glowing Darling, see page 235. <laughs> Much as I hate to admit this, Farmer, Baby's pet even outshines my firefly. Oh, yep. Yeah. That darling is taking all the prizes. Glowing darlings have been extinct for over a thousand years. This is no glowing darling. This is the work of Gargamel. Oh, Papa Smurf, Papa Smurf, I can't find Fuzzy anywhere. No. 
up now, Smurfette. There's danger in this village. <laughs> at last, at last. Glow, little darling. Glow, glow, glow. Glow, little darling. Go, go, go. By a unanimous vote, it is my pleasure to present you, Baby Smurf, with this grand prize in... Monster, monster! I don't know, Nat. Magic is unpredictable. Oh, 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 Fuzzy, where can you be? If you only knew how much I love you, if you... Oh, Fuzzy, there you are. Oh, Fuzzy, w -w -w what's happening? Oh, Fuzzy. Gosh, Jokey, I just don't understand. First, Glowin' Darling was the Glowin' Darling, but then became the big monster. And then Glowin' Darling became a teeny weeny little monster. And now Papa Smurf says that the Glowin' Darling is really Azrael. But Azrael is a great big cat. I'm telling you, Jokey, I'm mixed up. Oh, is that you, my pet? Yes? Now, what have we here? Azriel, look at you. What a worthless creature. Well, what have you got to say for yourself?
Frank Smurf's name started these fires. Well, whoever it was, I'd like to teach him a few things. I'd like to... Papa Smurf! Papa Smurf, come quick! Look what I found! What kind are they? These are the footprints of a dragon. A, a dragon? dragon? And it could return any time. We must have an emergency meeting. These books are all I saved from my laboratory. And without my potions and formulas, our village has little protection from the dragon. So we must start building our new armament now. What we really need is a knight to protect us, Papa Smurf. Yes, poet. But I don't know of any knights that would protect the Smurf. Oh, yes. Are you serious, Hefty? I'm so Smurfly. Would someone tell me what we're waiting for? I'm missing my beauty sleep. Ah, oh, the fun Smurfs say... I hate waiting. Hefty just said to be here and that it was important. Ladies and gentle Smurfs, may I present Sir Hefty! <gasps> Hefty, what are you doing? I am going to slay the dragon. Slay the dragon? Slay the dragon? Hefty, have you gone stark raving Smurf? You're no match for a big nasty old dragon. Ha! You mean he's no match for me? <laughs> this is a joke, right, Hefty? Tell me it's a joke. It's no joke. I'm going to save the village from the dragon. Be careful, Hefty. <laughs> and remember, don't tell Papa Smurf! We promise, Hefty! Hmm. Now, how do I find the dragon? He probably heard I was coming and it scared him off. <laughs> then again, maybe he didn't hear I was coming. Look out, Mr. Dragon. Here comes Hefty! All right, Happy. Let's see how brave you really are. Smurf up to it, Hefty. You're only a little smurf. A three apples high, blue faced smurf. You'll never be a real knight. When I get back to the village, all the smurfs are gonna laugh. Oh, smurf is me. What'll I do? Ooh, what's that? A knight. A real knight. I wonder if he would protect the smurf. There's only one way to find out. They still be after me. A hideout is what I need. <laughs> Not even enough to buy myself a meat pie. Uh, what I wouldn't give for a good meal and a bit of grog. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Knight. Who's there? Show yourself. Uh, me, hefty smurf. Fly me. A talking mouse! I'm not a mouse! I'm a smurf! A smurf? Are you alone? Yes, sir! Good! Are you a real knight? Of course! I'm Sir Lancelot of the King's Round Table. A knight of the Round Table? The very same. Oh! Um, then you probably wouldn't be interested in a job. What kind of a job, my little friend? Protecting my village. Is your village well hidden? Oh, yes, sir. No one can find our village. Uh, uh, what of food and drink? All you want. Yeah, then I accept. Oh, thank you, Sir Lancelot. Thank you. <laughs> Hasn't Papa Smurf told you? <gasps> Papa Smurf! Papa Smurf! Smurfs! 
This is Sir Lancelot, Knight of the Round Table. Oh. And he's going to protect our village from the dragon. Hooray! Dragon? You never mentioned a dragon. Oh, you know, he's just one of the ordinary fire-breathing kind. No problem for you, Sir Lancelot. Hooray! Oh, Papa Smurf. Isn't he absolutely wonderful? Mm. Hi, Greedy. What you making? Delicious mouth-watering cakes, Smurfette. Ooh, could you make one for little old me? I want to give one to Sir Lancelot. Sorry, Smurfette, but these are all for Sir Lancelot. I think he's the Smurfiest. Creating, Smurfette. Creating. Ooh, could you do me a big favor and write me a poem for Sir Lancelot? Oh, no. I'm already giving him a poem. It's called Ode to the Night. How's that, Sir Lancelot? I'd say that was perfect, Shorty. Uh, Handy. My name's Handy. Anything else I can do for you? Yes. Knock all the dents out of my armor. Hey, Handy, what first thing are you doing? Sir Lancelot wants me to knock out the dents. But he wants me to shine him. Knocking out dents is more important. Hey, Handy, stop, stop. <laughs> Actually, old chap, perhaps tomorrow would be a better day to hunt the dragon. I'm tired from my journey. But that's what you said yesterday, Sir Lancelot. Yes, well, it was a long journey. Hmm. Handy! Hefty! Where is every smurf? Mm, I'll bet I know where they are. Ah, this is the life. Fight the dragon, Sir Lancelot. Soon, Shorty, soon. But first, I must rest up. Vanquishing a dragon takes great strength and courage. Oh! Ah! Something tells me this knight isn't all he says he is. Here, Mr. Knight! <laughs> For me? What is it? It's a surprise! <laughs> Sir Lancelot, no! My Smurfberry surprise! <laughs> Sorry about that, Jokey. No Smurf is perfect. Enough! Enough! I want to sleep now. I called this secret meeting because our village could be attacked again at any time by the dragon. But I'm here to talk to you about Sir Lancelot. I believe he is not a knight at all, but a common thief and a coward. Huh? Who has no intention of ever fighting the dragon. But Papa Smurf! Wait, Hefty, hear me out. I have a plan that will tell us the truth about Sir Lancelot. We'll build a fake dragon to attack the village. And what our so-called knight does will tell us the truth about him. We'll get to work on our plan first thing in the morning. A plan, is it? Well, blimey. I'll just see about that. Hefty, how would you like to be my knight's apprentice? Knight's apprentice? Yes, which means you must be virtuous and honorable and always tell the truth. Always tell the truth? Otherwise, you can never become a knight. Oh. All right, clumsy, pull that lever on the right. Okay, Handy. No, no, clumsy, the lever on the right, the right. Uh, okay, Handy. That's a smurfy looking dragon, Handy. I'm just testing him now, Papa Smurf. Any time, clumsy. Lazy, let's hear the roar. 
Oh, uh, as you can see, Papa Smurf, I've got some rough spots to iron out. But it'll be ready to go this afternoon. Very good, Handy. That dragon ever shows up again, we'll be ready, with or without Sir Lancelot. I don't know what I'm gonna do, Smurfette. Papa Smurf said to keep the fate dragon a secret. But now that I'm a knight's apprentice, I feel like, uh... You should tell Sir Lancelot? Yeah! Hefty, you have to do what Papa Smurf says. Papa knows best. Yeah, I guess you're right. That's the way, Hefty. <laughs> You'll make a chipper of a knight. You're brave, honorable, you always tell the truth. No, I don't, Sir Lancelot. You? Uh, it's a secret. I can't tell you about the fake dragon. A fake dragon, eh? So, they're putting me to a little test, huh? Uh, don't worry, Hefty. I'll pass with flying colors. <laughs> Yeah, hurry it up, Hefty. I've got a dragon to slay. <laughs> Here, Sir Lancelot. I'm ready. Bring on the bloody dragon. You're not going to hurt it, are you, Sir Lancelot? Hurt it? Of course not. I just want to scare it a little and teach them a lesson. <laughs> They're ready. Rainy, you're on. Don't worry, Papa Smurf. I won't let you down. You can always count on me, Papa Smurf. I always say... Go, Brainy. Yes, Papa Smurf. Smurfette, tell the others to get ready and listen for the alarm bell. Yes, Papa Smurf. I hope I'm right. Sir Lancelot! Sir Lancelot! The dragon's coming! Uh, what? The, the, the dragon! The, the dragon! You've got to save us, Sir Lancelot! Oh, it's a disaster! Oh, it's terrible! But of course I will! You will? I mean, oh, you will! Hefty, my sword! Whoa! Wait here, my little friends, whilst I slay this dastardly dragon. Hey, maybe he really is a knight of the round table. Not maybe, he is! Turn right, clumsy! Uh, right, Handy! Right, clumsy, right! Uh, yeah, right! <laughs> Lazy, get ready to roar! Lazy! <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Rawr! Is the fire breath ready, Greedy? No problem, what's this? Good roar, Lazy! What? What are we stopping for? We bumped into a big scaly tree. Scaly, scaly tree? I uh, better make that a big scaly dragon. <laughs> Let's smurf out of here! Smurf! 
for your life. For Dragon Realm. Oh, let me out of here. Hefty. The dragon, it's real. Papa Smurf said. Oh, no. Sir Lancelot, take me the bank. Come and meet your master, miserable beast. Sir Lancelot, the dragon's not a fake. It's real. Real? Do you mean... Look out! Real? Slimey, let me out of here! He... he really isn't a knight. He's nothing but a... a, a coward. Hefty, look out! Don't worry, Smurfette. I'll protect you. Oh, Hefty, be careful. Ready, aim, fire! <laughs> or he'll destroy the whole place! You're nothing but a big pile of scale, Dragon! <laughs> Smurf me if you can! Smurf me! Tell Papa Smurf to open the dam when I reach the bridge! Okay, Hefty! This is the end of the line, big fella! Time for you to cool off! a brave smurf. Smurf, can I keep them? 
A fuzzle? No, Clumsy, absolutely smurfly not. Now put it back where you found it. See? I told you Papa Smurf should see it first, but oh no, you wouldn't. Oh, but Papa Smurf be so little. Little fuzzles are big trouble. Put it back. Yes, Papa Smurf. All right, Smurfs, load up the logs. We're heading home. Huh? Sorry, little fuzzle. Guess this is goodbye. You gotta keep your Smurf shut or this'll never work. Aha! Smurf Prince! <laughs> it won't be long now, as we have. <laughs> Where could that little wretch have gone? Aha! Come down from there, you little blue tree toad! We'll get started on the repairs. Well, little fuzzle, I bet you're hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get back to work. Bye! Watch! Here, Fuzzles! A present for you! Yeah. 
Potion, and there isn't time to smurf up another batch. Success! A genuine smurf path. Those disgusting smurfs have to pass here sooner or later. And when they do, we'll be ready. <laughs> Put a stop to that. Yikes! We have them, Asriel! We have the Smurfs! <laughs> and judging from the weight, they're all... Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, gosh, Papa Smurf, what's going to happen to those poor little fuzzles? I'm not sure, Clumsy. Let's find out. At long last, the Smurfs are ours! All ours! <laughs> Yo! Back, back, I say! Get away from me, you little beast! too far this time. I'll get those miserable rotten Smurfs if it's the last thing I do! <laughs> <laughs> Truffle pies, truffle pudding. 
Oh, I know what you mean. Truffles taste smurfy. Are you smurfing? Truffles are absolutely smurfy, the smurfiest tasting thing in the whole world. I hate truffles. <laughs> I love truffles by Poet Smurf. Truffles are a smurfy thing, a treat to set before a king. They're good on oatmeal, ice cream, too. I love truffles. How about you? Hmm. <coughs> truffles are a smurfy thing, a treat that makes one dance and sing. They're good on berries or cheese fondue. I love truffles. Why don't you? Truffles are a smurfy thing, a treat to set before a king. They're good on oatmeal and ice cream, too. I love truffles. How about you? Truffles are a smurfy thing, a treat that makes one dance and sing. They're good on berries or cheese fondue. I love truffles. Why don't you? I still hate truffles. And I hate violence, too. Oh, no, a new wrinkle. Oh, Papa Smurf, Papa Smurf. Papa Smurf, Papa Smurf, Papa Smurf. Papa Smurf. We'll track him back soon with the truffles. <sighs> yes, Vanity, I'm sure he will be. Oh, thanks, Smurfness. I need some for my truffle mud beauty treatment. Truffle mud? Ah, at last, almost home. Ooh, yeah. La 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 la. La 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 la. La 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 la. with Asriel and I... Hey, look! There's a hole in the bag! Oh, no! And it's empty! Oh, no! no! You mean you didn't bring us any truffles? Well, I did manage to save one or... One. You should share. I was going to suggest that, Papa Smurf. After all, share and share alike. I always... Oh, Smurf up, Brady. There's only one thing to do, and that is to divide the truffle equally for every Smurf. <laughs> one for you, and one for you, one for you, and one for you, and one for you. Well, I've heard of sharing, but this is ridiculous. Smurf and Smurf alike, Hefty. Next. Thank you, Papa Smurf. Ha! It isn't fair, Papa Smurf! Hefty's piece was smurfier than mine! Are you kidding? My piece is so small, I can't even smurf it! It isn't fair! Mine was smaller! <laughs> Quiet! Well, my little Smurfs, it seems to me that if you're all depending on Tracker to bring you truffles, you must be satisfied with whatever he can smurf you. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> But Track is the only Smurf who can Smurf out truffles, Papa Smurf. So we have to depend on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. Hmm. Well, 
Perhaps you should ask Tracker to teach you how to sniff out your own truffles. Brilliant idea, Papa Smurf. Then you'll teach us how? Oh, thank you, Tracker. Mwah. Well, uh, uh, but I didn't, that is... Um, <laughs> Doesn't look very smurfy. Oh, gee, what do we do? What's that? Oh, that's probably just pigs. Papa Smurf says humans use them to dig out truffles. Humans? Well, certainly. The pigs love truffles, so they smurf them up, and then the humans smurf them away from the pigs, and. Hey, wait for me! <laughs> Yak! Ruffer thieves! After them! <laughs> I think we're safe here! Oh, poor Tracker! He smurfed the nasty bump! Oh, gee, Smurfette! Eh? We'd better smurf him back home to Papa Smurf for some bump medicine! But which way is home? That way! That way. Let's see. We smurfed from over there, but then we heard the pigs and had to smurf over here. But we certainly can't go back that way. The humans might smurf us. Tracker, please wake up. We need you to smurf us the way home. Ah. Hello. Oh, Tracker, thank Smurfness, you're all smurfy again. Um, say, where am I? We were hoping you would tell us where we are, Tracker. Tracker? Who's Tracker? And who are you? Who are we? Oh, goodness, Smurf. He's lost his memory. Oh, now we'll never get home. Never mind him. He's out of his Smurf. I'll Smurf the way home. Just follow me. Papa Smurf always says, Brainy, you're the smartest Smurf, and in any emergency, you should be in charge because... Hey, wait for me! Wait up! Oh, no! What's wrong, Smurfette? Tracker's gone! Gone? Oh, we have to find him! Yeah, he's out of his Smurf. You check there! I'll look here! Jack! <laughs> We teach these thieves not to steal our truffles. Take them to King Jack. This is terrible. I can't even remember my own name. Now, what did she say it is? Um, a tutor or a tatter, a teeter, a totter? Jack, Jack, prisoners for King. What be these ye bring before me? They be thieves, O King. Truffle thieves. Yuck! Steal my truffles? Then they be punished. Oh, but we didn't know they were yours, Your Majesty. No excuses. All the truffles belong to Yuck! Me! But that's smurfdiculous. You can't eat all the truffles in the world, can you? Ah, Yuck! Eat truffles? Yuck! We never eat truffles. The taste be very bad. Take them to the isle on the Lake of Doom. Yeah, yeah. Well, why did you do that? Uh, the thing loves truffles. Make him happy. Thing? What thing? The thing with no name. You mean 
mean you're going to leave us here? <laughs> Gee, they sure are in a hurry to smurf out of here. Yeah, I wonder why. Now, where did I see those honey blue chaps? Uh, uh, spoofs? Uh, or was it the swoofs? Uh, swoofs? Oh, that's it. Uh, swoofs. Now, where was I? Two table smurfs of daisy pollen and a small pinch of dried fern. Papa Smurf! Papa Smurf! Not again! Is it hefty? Sorry, Papa Smurf, but we were wondering when Tracker will be back with the truffles, right? Yeah, how'd you know? Just a smurfy guess. Actually, you're right to be concerned, Hefty. Tracker and the others should have smurfed back days ago. I'll smurf the others. Not alone. What are these other tracks, Papa Smurf? Truffle trolls, I'm afraid. I never realized Tracker would smurf this far south, or I would have warned him. Are they very unsmurfy, Papa Smurf? Yes, Jokey, I'm afraid so. Gather up some truffles. We'll need them in our dealings with the truffle trolls. Hurry! Hello! Hello, swoops! <laughs> or was it smuffs? No. Smiths, a puffs, spoofs. Hey, Tracker, you're one of us, remember? I'm afraid Tracker's taken a bad bump on the head. I think he has amnesia. Amnesia? Gee, I sure am hungry. You're hungry? What about me? Well, uh, I got a little something to smurf on. Truffle Troll Cave. How do we get in there, Papa Smurf? I know just how to smurf it, Papa Smurf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, funny looking. Yeah, what you doing here? Here's a surprise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Surprise? Quick, 
our Smurfs must be on that island. We must Smurf them before that thing does. And I think I know just how to Smurf it. This should be far enough, Jokey. Smurf in a truffle. Jokey! Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, very good, very good. Smurf another Jokey and keep Smurfing them. I sure hope Papa Smurf doesn't run out of truffles. You're not the only Smurf. <laughs> I believe I smell more of those triples. Or was it piffles? Hurry, the thing may be back any minute. This is the last one, Papa Smurf! Let's hope this thing has had enough, Jokey. Now we must smurf back to the boat landing. Come along, Tracker. Tracker? Tracker? Now where did he smurf off to? Hmm, these piffles are really good. Wonder why they haven't caught on. <laughs> Thanks, Smurf, you made it. Oh, Papa Smurf, it's so smurfy to see you. Let's get out of here. Come on! Let's go! Not yet, my little Smurfs. First, we must find Tracker. Tracker! Hey, Tracker! Tracker, where are you? Quietly, quietly. The trolls might hear you. The prisoners have escaped! Papa Smurf, the truffle trolls are coming! <laughs> but Tracker, where is he? Hello! Ah! <laughs> Piffles, anyone? Hurry! Every Smurf back in the boat! It's our only chance! <laughs> stroke! Stroke! There they go! After them! Stroke! Stroke! No! No! Stroke! 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 No! 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 Papa Smurf! Tracker, huh? ah! quickly! Smurf had a truffle! There are piffles! Ah, piffles! Yes, yes, he might like these piffles! That thing! Here you go, Mr. Thing! Stop your face! Ah, I think he likes the piffles! <laughs> yes, but so do those truffle trolls! Keep smurfing! Stroke! 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 The thing be coming! Get the truffles! Truffles be gone, O oh King! Gone? Thieves! Smurf thieves stole our truffles again! where they came from. Well, Tracker, we'll re-smurf your memory when we get home. But first, we must smurf out of here. Ah, ah. Oh, no, he's hungry again. I don't think so, Daddy. Some ride. Now, where was I? Two table smurfs of daisy pollen and a small pinch of dried fern. Papa Smurf! Papa Smurf! Uh. Oh, hi, Tracker! Did your memory come back yet? What memory? Well, don't worry, Tracker. Papa Smurf's working on a potion and. Clumsy! Smurf that board over here! Okay, Hefty! Sorry, Tracker. Gotta go! Tracker? That's me! That's me! Hey, I'm me! I'm Tracker Smurf! So according to your plan, Handy... Hello! My friends, shall we be off? 
be off to wear, Tracker. Why, to Smurf for truffles. Ah, yes, we all love truffles. Truffles are so smurfy. Truffles are so good. Truffles are so healthy for our little blue bodies. Truffles are so... Oh, I wonder what they have against truffles. Good night, Lazy. Good night, Hefty. Good night, Clumsy. Good night, Lazy. Oh, uh, good night, Grouchy. I hate good nights. Good night, Smurfette. <laughs> good night, Grouchy. Good night, Rainy. Good night, Smurfette. And remember, early to bed, early to rise makes a Smurf. Good night. Oh, good night. <laughs> Smurf is asleep, and I can finally get smurfing on my secret project, decorating our village to make it the happiest place in the whole world. What's this all about, Smurfette? I have something to show you. Well, Smurfette, it had better be good. It's more than good. It's super Smurf-tastic. See? I decided to decorate our village and make it the happiest place in the whole world. Ooh. Ah. It is magnifique. Well, good night. Do you like it, Papa Smurf? Well, Smurfette, of course I do. What's that noise? Bees! Dozens of them. Hundreds of them. Let's get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Go away. Fool, not the face. Go away. Hurry, hurry. Go away, Bees. Shoot. Stop. You're ruining everything. Oh, Papa Smurf. Can't you stop them? There, there, Smurfette. They're just doing what bees do naturally. But we have wood to chop. And pictures to paint. And goodies to bake. Yeah. 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 yeah! Oh, I wanted this to be such a happy day. But I've just made every Smurf miserable. Ah, I'll never try anything new again. It isn't worth it. You're absolutely smurfly right, Smurfette. I always say stick with the tried and true. Better safe than sorry. It is my view that... Nonsense, Brainy. Just because Smurfette's idea didn't turn out as planned doesn't mean that she was wrong to try. Why, I remember the same thing once happened to Dreamy Smurf. <laughs> if you recall, Dreamy set out on an adventure that didn't turn out as planned. Oh, I remember. <laughs> oh, yes! We love that story. Tell it again, Papa Smurf. Yeah. What story, Papa Smurf? Well, it all began a long, long time ago, long before you. That cloud looks like the great oak. And that one's just like a big piece of pie. Mm -hmm. There's one that resembles an incredibly handsome Smurf, who shall remain nameless. And that one looks like a sailing ship. <sighs> if only I were the captain. Avast, ye Smurf lovers, land ho! Hooray for Captain Dreamy! Hooray for Captain Dreamy! Hooray for Captain Dreamy! That's it! Come on, Smurfs! How can you lie around like this when you could be sailing the ocean blue? Easy. Oh. But we could be heroes, boldly smurfing where no Smurf has smurfed before! What for? I have everything I need right here. Me too! Who wants to smurf to all that trouble? Just relax. Yeah. But vanity, there's nothing like salt spray to put color in your cheeks. Really? And really, you could discover exotic new foods. I could? And lazy, the waves would rock you to sleep every night. Yeah, and what are we waiting for? Yeah! Let's go! I'm Curse of Smurf! <laughs> Sailing, 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 sailing
sailing over the bounding main. Congratulations, Dreamy. In all my days, this is the smurfiest sailing ship I've ever seen. Thanks, Papa Smurf. Greedy, the ceremonial sarsaparilla, please. Hey, it's empty. <laughs> Sorry, all that talk about salt water made me thirsty. <laughs> no matter. I now christen thee the Sea Smurf. Hooray, Hooray for Captain, Captain Dreamy! Dreamy! Hooray for Captain Dreamy! Hooray! Have a smurfy time, my little Smurfs, but be back by sundown. Hm. Those Ninkum Smurfs couldn't drag me on that tub. <sighs> I certainly admire their spirit of adventure. Uh, exactly what I was thinking, Papa Smurf. Exactly what I was thinking. If only I could go, but alas, my many duties keep me landbound. There are those that explore, and those that use their minds, and those that... Yeah! Cast off! <laughs> Well, welcome aboard, Brainy. I'm glad you changed your mind. Now, you too will go down in Smurf history. Don't say go down. Don't say go down! Yo ho ho, and a ship full of Smurfs, sailing the ocean blue. Yo ho ho, and a ship full of Smurfs, loyal, blue, and true. Isn't it as smurfy as I promised? Ah, uh, let the wink left. And I haven't eaten a single uh, goodie. The only color this trip's put into my cheeks is green. Cheer up, my merry crew. Every adventure has its ups and downs. I hate downs. Land ho, land ho, a beautiful island there. Cheers for Captain Dreamy! Hooray! 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 A little smaller than I thought. But history waits for no Smurf. One small step for Smurf, one giant leap for Smurf kind. Solid rock. <laughs> it's alive! <laughs> Some island, Dreamy. Uh, yeah, stop violent. <laughs> well, any Smurf can make a mistake. And our mistake was listening to you. Yeah, that's right. You Smurfed it. Achoo! I say we head for home. No, we can't give up now. Don't you want to be heroes? No. no. Don't you want to boldly Smurf where no Smurf has... No. Look. <laughs> now look what you did. We're doomed. We will never see home again. Doom, doom, doom! Oh, oh no. no! Now we're really doomed. Look at it this way. What else could possibly go wrong? <laughs> What is this? Over there! It, it looks like land. Land? Papa Smurf always says any old port in a storm. And hurry! Go! 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 There, you see? Things aren't as bad as you thought. Yay! Things are worse than we thought. Well, Dreamy, at least you kept one. Promise, we certainly have Smurf where no Smurf has Smurfed before. Now, let's unsmurf right out of here. Now's our chance. Here we go. Pull, Smurfs, pull. Row, 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 row. Oh, if only there was a way to keep the world's mouth open a little longer. There is a way, but we'll have to tear our boat apart to do it. Okay! Yeah. Let's do it! Okay! No! Sorry, Dreamy, but it's our only hope of escape. Then, what are we smirking for? There it is, Dreamy. Let's hope it works. All right, crew. Smurf it with all you've got. Now, crew, full speed ahead! 
my merry crew. It won't be long now. You mean till we get home? He means till we get some sleep. No, he means till lunch, right, Dreamy? I mean, until we discover an exotic new land full of smurfy things that no smurf... Oh, no, you don't, Dreamy Smurf. We're heading for home, with or without you. Well, oh, yeah, he's right, that's right, he's right. Hey, what's happened? Where are we? I knew it. We're lost at sea, a hundred miles from land, a thousand miles. Uh, uh, at long last, land. Land? <laughs> one small step for Smurfs, one giant fleet for Smurf time. Hooray! 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 What's going on? Hey, oh, oh, oh. This isn't land. It's a fishing net. Oh, 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 oh. At last, I finally caught something. Oh, and beauties they are. Oh, thank goodness. Tonight, for the first time in weeks, my family will fill their bellies with all the fish they can eat. Now I won't have to sell me wedding ring to pay for bread. Ha <laughs> ha! Pirates! Pirates? What's a pirate? You got me! This is another fine smurf you've gotten us into, dreamy smurf. Maybe they haven't seen me. Maybe I can slip away and... Ready, fire! Play to where ye are, mates, or you'll find out why they call me Captain Keelhaul. Ha ha ha! Well, shiver me timbers, what have we here? <laughs> Please, sir, I have to feed my family. Bah! That's too fine a catch to waste on a bunch of runny-nosed tykes, right, mates? Right! <laughs> <laughs> and what might this be? Oh, it's my wedding ring. Isn't that sweet? Sweet. Don't worry. We'll take extra special good care of it, won't we, mates? <laughs> yes, we will. Oh, gosh. They don't play fair at all. Oh, if only I was bigger. If only I was smaller. <laughs> so long, friend, and have a pleasant journey home. Bone voyage. <laughs> ah, there's nothing like pirates and to pep up your day, eh, mates? <laughs> we'll fry up these fish as soon as we finish our game. Let's play. Smurfs, there's our way out. Uh, but how do we climb up there? Hurry, Clumsy. We don't have all day. Coming, Brady. Whoop. Yeah! What was that? In that trap, didn't it only be the howling of the wind? That were no wind. It sounded like a, a ghost. Well, what do you know? The big brave captain is afraid of ghosts. That gives me a smurfy idea. Forget it! Your idea's got us into this. And now they're gonna get us out. Come on. I'm uh, sure there are no ghosts in here, Captain. Aye, no ghosts at all. <laughs> no ghosts, eh? Well, what's that? We are the ghosts of victims' past. <laughs> We have come back to haunt you. Ah. Oh, return what you have stolen before it's too late. Ooh. Dead men tell no tales. Ooh. Yeah, we're sorry, ghosts. Don't hurt us. Don't curse us. Quick, into the net. Here. Here, you can have it all back. Everything we ever took. Just don't harm us. Please don't harm us. I should have listened to my dear old mother. She never wanted me to be a pirate in the first place. I, 
I don't believe my eyes. My wedding ring. Oh, and enough gold and jewels to care for my family the rest of their lives. Ha <laughs> ha! It's a miracle. A wonderful miracle. A miracle! Oh, this is my lucky day. Yes, sirree, my lucky day. <laughs> it's a miracle we got out alive. No thanks to you, Dreamy. And when we get back, I'm gonna tell Papa Smurf everything. What a smurf catastrophe this trip has been. You said we were gonna be heroes. Ah, we've been no help to anybody. Especially ourselves. Do you have any reason? I hate threes. Oh, gosh, Captain Dreamy, I hate to complain, but we're running out of food. And we're running out of water. We're starving. We can't smurf up much longer. What are we going to smurf? A cookie. A cookie. My smurf them for a cookie. Through thorough research and personal experience, I have come to the conclusion that smurf does not live by salt water alone. In fact, a diet of pure salt water can cause rickets, scurvy, and severe weight loss. On the other hand, a little splash now and then could be very refreshing. I know, I'll catch us something to eat. Oh, yeah! Me too! Sure hope I catch something smurfy. <laughs> Me too, pal. Smurf a Rudy! I got one already! <laughs> Oh, oh, boy, it must be a whopper. Mm. Oh, it can't be bigger than mine, pal. It's a super whopper. Mm. Uh. Mm. Oh. Well, let's spur for my hand. A wise decision. Oh, pal. Like I always say, united we smurf. <laughs> Divide and we fall! Well, we said we'd catch something smurfy, didn't we? <laughs> I'd give anything for a crust of bread to feed my starving crew. Yoo-hoo, Captain Dreamy! Fancy meeting you here! Smurf Ed! And Papa Smurf! Ahoy, Captain Dreamy! A couple of starfish have invited us down for dinner! Won't you join us? Dinner? Oh, wait for us, Papa! Wait for us! Have you lost your mind, Dreamy? Who in Smurf are you talking to? Papa Smurf and Smurf Ed. Don't you see them? Oh, that's only a mirage. Look! An island made of cookies! No, no, it's made of rocks. And it's the Smurfiest looking paradise I've ever seen. I'll say. It looks just like a big feather bed. It looks like a pizza. No, cookie. A great big trumpet. Endless cans of paint. Oh. Ah, it was only a mirage. Mirage? I hate mirages. Boy, am I hungry. There's nothing to eat on this island but seeds. I proclaim one small step for Smurf. <laughs> Well, I'll never recommend this place to my friends. Oh, my poor little Smurfs. What could have happened to them? They should have been back days ago. We must organize a search. Build a ship. Oh, Papa Smurf, look! Here they come! Yeah. Hooray! Our merry adventurers have returned home. Hooray! Hooray! Welcome back! Tell us, what beautiful places did you see? None. Well, what wonderful surprises did you bring back? None. I 
I'm afraid the trip was a failure. You can smurf that again! Uh, all we found was trouble. And a few... Ouch! Bye. And some dumb seeds. <sighs> one small flop for smurf. One giant flop for smurf kind. But those little seeds the smurf thought were worthless took root and blossomed into the very first smurf berry bush in the whole forest. Oh, what a wonderful story! Yeah, I love smurf berries. Oh, yeah! yeah. <laughs> well, what do you know? The bees are gone. But they didn't go far. Honey! Well, Smurfette, your idea turned out just Smurfy after all. Yes, our village really is the happiest place in the whole forest. Yes, it sure is. <laughs> My door bright color, baby. You like it? <laughs> oh, this will be Miss Murphy's door in the whole village. Oh, that's the water for my Smurf Fairy tea. I'll be back in a second, baby. You'll be good. <laughs> What have we here? Magnifique! Beautiful! Oh, what genius created this masterpiece? This masterpiece was created by Baby. Baby? Oh, Baby Smurf! You are going to be a great painter! La, 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 la. Ah, I love a walk in the forest. At last! At last, Azriel! Victory is near! Cockamel! I'd better see what he's up to. Remember this day, Azriel, and remember it well. It marks the beginning of the end for those stinking, rotten, miserable Smurfs. Ah, I think I hear my secret weapon now. Gotcha! Ah, you are a fine specimen. At long last, a plan that cannot fail. <laughs> Poor Gargamel. He never gives up. I wonder what it will be this time. That's right, baby. Now see if this gear works over there. Cordon Bleu! No, no, no! Come, come, my little crouton. To become a great painter, we must begin your training immediately. Oh, come on. Be serious, painter. Baby's gonna be a great engineer. I've always known that. Look what baby did this morning. What is it? Well, I'm not quite sure, but it's obviously the work of a mechanical genius. Genius, yes, but Bobby is an artist. Please, please, please. What is all this giggling about? <laughs> Why, listen to that. Free verse. Baby, you are obviously a poet. Answer. Engineer, poet. <laughs> this place should do nicely, Azriel. After all, we wouldn't want this happening inside my chateau. <laughs> Ipso facto locust maxo. <laughs> I've done it, Azriel. <laughs> I've done it. <laughs> oh, what a genius I am. That it multiply to the hundreds, the thousands, the millions. <laughs> it worked, Gabriel. It worked. What have I always said, Gabriel? Destroy the forest, and you destroy the Smurf. <laughs> yeah. Imagine Cargamel thinking that a tiny insect could in any way. Then again, hmm, now what can that be? Good grief! Those locusts will destroy the entire forest. So that's what Gargamel was up to. I must do something before it's too late. Hurry, my friends, save yourselves. I must reach out to before it's too late. Amazing. They've cut me off. I'm trapped. Baby Smurf? Uh, I sure wish I was as talented as you. Yep, I sure do. Oh, what's that beautiful sound? 
Why, why, Baby's a musical genius. I do, too. How come everybody thinks Baby's a genius? I know genius when I hear it. Of course, it'll be a while before you're as good as I am. <laughs> Try to imitate that. Needs a lot of work, but uh, we can work on it. Come on, baby. Time to get back to engineering. Ah, uh, baby. Time to get back to painting. You're both wrong. Baby's going to be a great musician. A musician? A musician? Hey. Yeah? Oh, poor baby. It's time for your dinner. If you aren't properly fed, you won't grow up at all. Oh, Spurfed, I think it's my turn to feed baby. May I? Why, thank you, Brainy. I'll never see my little Spurfs. And I'll hurry. We must reach her village before the locusts. <laughs> Baby Smurf, I always say better be the mind than the stomach. Therefore, I am personally going to introduce you to the true profession of future holds in store for you. You will be an intellectual. Oh, gosh, an intellectual. Can I watch? Even better, you can help. Hmm, not profound enough. Here. Hmm, better. Hold this and this. Well, this one isn't so bad. Neither is this. But somewhere in all these books... Ah, here it is! The definitive tome! The quotations of Brainy Smurf. How could Papa Smurf let it get so dusty? <sighs> Oh, baby, how will Papa Smurf know which chemical is which? Uh, you can ask him, righty. Here he comes now. Oh, Clumsy, you mustn't tell Papa Smurf. We don't want him to get angry with Baby, do we? Well, no, uh, I guess not. But, but what if... Fine, you get Baby out of here, and I'll fix the labels before Papa Smurf finds out. The bee is on petal, Papa Smurf. Not now, my little Smurfs. We face a most dire threat to our very existence. A huge swarm of locusts created by Archimel is approaching the village. I must immediately prepare something to stop them. Brainy, where's that bottle of dragon's breath? Hurry, Brainy. Here it is, Papa Smurf. I, I think. Hurry, my little Smurfs. They'll eat everything in sight. They'll eat everything? Oh, it's the end of the world! Fire! Yay! Oh, no! Your formula didn't work, Papa Smurf. What went wrong? I don't know. I'm positive I used all the right ingredients. There's still time for one more try. If I can only figure out what went wrong. Papa Smurf! Papa Smurf! I've got something to tell you! I don't understand. I'm sure I measured precisely. Oh, Papa Smurf, please forgive me. Forgive you? Brainy, what for? Your formula didn't work because, because, because Baby is going to be an intellectual. I don't understand. I, I was going to instruct Baby from your books, but Baby took all the labels off your chemicals and I put them back on. Wrong. Oh, no. That means I'll have to check out everyone. We'll talk about this later, Brady. Hurry, Papa Smurf. The locusts are almost at the village. There's not a moment to lose. Ready, Papa Smurf. Fire! It's working, Papa Smurf. We're growing fewer in number. Amazing. They're gone. The locusts are gone. Hooray! These beautiful dead branches, Azriel. Isn't it a lovely day? Any moment now, we'll come upon those rotten berry eaters with no berries left to eat, no forest to hide in, no place to go except into my net. <laughs> hmm. Why don't I hear the locusts anymore? They're diminishing. This is Papa Smurf's doing. Am I ever going to win? Just once, could I? You miss.
miserable little traitor. Get off of there! You hear me? I'll cut that out! Don't you! Ow, ow, ow! Hey, ow! Thank you for saving us from the locust, Papa Smurf. We're all so relieved. But we're all so sad because of what's happened to our forest. Of course you are. But the forest will recover, beginning with the next raid. Yay! Yes, my little Smurfs, the forest is indeed turning green with this first raid. This much I could predict for you, but there is one thing not even I can know, and that is, what is the future role Baby Smurf will play in the world? Painter, chef, engineer, who knows? So let us all be patient. And now, let's celebrate this wonderful rain with a little dance. Hooray! <laughs> about all the trouble I caused. I forgive you, Brainy, provided this teaches you that none of us is as smart as he thinks he is. Oh, it does, Papa Smurf. But you really do see that Baby Smurf will be an intellectual, don't you? I have no idea who Baby Smurf will take after. Now get out there and dance! Just love nuts. Mmm, yum. Yum, <laughs> yum. Here's this special nut just for you, Grady. Gee, thanks. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> Very funny. What was that? I don't know. E flat? It sounded like a horn. <gasps> humans! Hmm, that's odd. What would humans be doing in this part of the forest? Baby! Hey! Help! Yay! Yow! Oh, Papa Smurf, what a mess! Did you see the size of that snake? Yeah! We've got him now, lads! Follow me! Is every Smurf all right? Papa Smurf, why are those humans chasing that beautiful stag? I'm afraid they mean to kill it, Smurfette. Kill it? But why? Yeah, why? They are hunters. Oh, those horrible humans! Just who do they think they are? Well, one of them was King Gerard's second cousin, Malcolm the Mean. He is the greatest hunter in all the realm. Oh, that poor deer! We've got to save it, Papa Smurf. But how? I've got an idea. Smurf me up into the tree, Hefty. What are you going to do, Harmony? You'll see. What? That cunning buck doubled back, but he'll never get away. Yeah, yeah. It worked! Hey! The deer is safe! Smurfette! Look out! Hey! Wow! Huh? Faster, you fools! Faster! He mustn't escape! Are you all right, Smurfette? I'm all right. But what happened to Harmony? Uh, there he goes! <gasps> yeah! Yeah! Great Smurfs, he's gone! Poor Harmony! What'll we do now, Papa Smurf? We must follow Harmony and rescue him before he's discovered. I'll go! Me too! Yeah, it sounds like fun! It may well be very dangerous. The rest of you, gather up these nuts and return to the village immediately. Yes, yes Papa, Papa Smurf. Smurf! We'll be back as soon as possible. Yeah! Yeah! Goodbye! Be careful! Oh, poor Harmony! I hope they can find him, baby. That's no 
use. These stupid dogs you trained have lost the scent. We'll have to return to the castle and try again tomorrow. Come! Yes, Sir Malcolm. Yeah! Yeah! I tell you, there is absolutely nothing to worry about, Smurfette. Wherever they are, I'm certain Papa Smurf and the others are just as safe as we ourselves are right here. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if... Ah! What's that? Who's there? Oh, oh it's you! You frightened us! Are you all right? Oh, you hurt yourself, you poor thing! Come with us to the village, and maybe we can help you. It isn't far. Follow me. Hey, Clumsy, hurry up with those other branches. Uh, here I come, Handy. Yeah. <coughs> hey, look out. Whoa, whoa. Oh, gosh, are you all right, Vanity? Maybe I should lie down. My color's not too good. Oh, gee, I'm the same color as you, Vanity. Maybe I ought to lie down, too. Are you feeling better? Papa Smurf's moss balm should help your foot a lot. And these goodies will help you keep up your strength. Greedy. Dear, do not eat Smurf berry tarts. They are exclusively herbivorous, which means they can only digest a diet of leaves, twigs, flowers, or grass. <laughs> no doubt about it. <laughs> he likes it. That's impossible. I just don't understand it. You know, Greedy, I, I can't put my finger on it, but there's something kind of familiar about this deer. <laughs> I cannot believe these worthless dogs let it get away. But, Sir Malcolm, enough! Tomorrow we capture that black stag or by thunder. It's the dungeon. Yes, Sir Malcolm. <laughs> yes, Your Grace. Oh, oh, begging your pardon, Sir Malcolm, but have you heard any word from King Gerard? No, Mrs. Sowerberry, I have not. Well, I know I shouldn't worry so, but it's just not like His Majesty to have left so sudden-like without even saying goodbye. There was great urgency, Mrs. Sowerberry. Affairs of state. Oh, well, you know, I'm so fond of his highness and that dear little clockwork smurf that whenever they're away, I just naturally feel that... Yes, yes, Mrs. Sowerberry, I quite understand. Now, I must retire, madam. The hunt resumes early tomorrow. Oh, uh, sleep well, your lordship. So, she misses you, dear cousin. <laughs> They call me Malcolm the Mean, you know. But what would they call me if they saw my latest trophy? <laughs> what a prize! <gasps> but my greatest prize is yet to come. The Black Stag. For when it is mine, I shall become king! Is that not true, dear cousin? With my magic amulet, I've turned you into a deer. And now your loyal subjects are hunting down their own king! <laughs> Poor King Gerard. After tomorrow's hunt, the throne will be mine. So until tomorrow, <laughs> dear cousin, pleasant dreams, wherever you are. <laughs> Clockwork Smurf! Clockwork Smurf! It's no use. I've got to get help before it's too late. Just as I thought. Harmony's tracks lead directly to King Gerard's castle. Then Harmony must be in there. Look, there he is. It's Harmony. Papa Smurf, Papa Smurf. Harmony, are you all right? Oh, Papa Smurf, I'm so glad I found you. That mean Malcolm the Mean has captured Clockwork Smurf, and he's, he's going to do away with King Gerard. What? How do you know? He has a magic amulet, and he turned King Gerard into a deer, and he's going to try to catch him tomorrow. The stag. This must not be. 
If we can get that magic amulet, perhaps we can break the spell. <laughs> we'll smurf that amulet away from him. Yeah, he'll never know what smurfed him. Oh, uh, won't that be kind of dangerous? We must try, Harmony. It's King Gerard's only hope. And clockworks, too. I guess you're right. Follow me! This way. Come on! Wow, what a strange place. I've never seen anything like it. The animals are so still. I'm afraid these are just stuffed animals, Hefty. What do we do now, Papa Smurf? First, we'll try to revive Clockwork. Then we'll find Malcolm's amulet. All right, now every Smurf lift on the count of three. One, two, three, Smurf! <laughs> Too bad Handy isn't here. He'd know just what to do. Hmm. Perhaps if I turn this switch... Not funny. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hurry, my little Smurfs. We must get this amulet back to the village. What's that clockwork? Yo! He said, watch your step! Great Smurfs, the amulet! <gasps> After it, my little Smurfs, quickly! Hey! Get your Smurf out of my way! Whoa! My word! Maybe I should have stayed home! Help! Pull, clockwork! Pull! How is the fish, Smurf? We're all right, Papa Smurf! <laughs> you can always count on us, Papa Smurf! Chucky, look out! Oops. Now look what you've done. Can any Smurf see it? Uh-uh. It's too dark down there. What'll we do? If we had a light and some rope, perhaps we could fish it out. <coughs> well, what are we waiting for? Come on! Gently now, my little Smurfs. That's the way. Lower away! Hold it! There it is! Okay! Smurf away! Well, let's hope we don't run into any more unexpected surprises on the way home. Mrs. Sowerberry! Sir? Have you seen my amulet? Oh, 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 no, Sir Malcolm. It's missing. Have the servants search every room in the castle immediately. Oh, oh yes, Sir Malcolm. <laughs> I must find that amulet. Without it, I could lose my power over Gerard. Well, have you found it? We've searched the castle from top to bottom, Sir Malcolm. And? Your amulet is nowhere to be found. Then we must find the black stag without delay. Do not escape me today. Scissors. Now to see if the treatment was a success. Mr. Deer. Now you can go back to the forest. Whatever is he doing? Why, he's drawing a picture. It looks like a castle. But what does it mean? What are you trying to tell us? Wait! Don't run away! You're safe here! Hmm. <laughs> That's gratitude for you. As I was saying to Papa Smurf just the other day, it seems... Papa Smurf! And Clockwork! Oh, Clockwork, it's so good to see you! Tell me, how are all your gears? Oh, that's fine, fine! My little Smurfs, there is not a moment to lose. We must find the black stag and bring it here to the village. But Papa Smurf had just left. What? That's right. It was hurt, so we brought it here and took care of it. Great Smurfs! That deer was King Gerard. King, King Gerard? Gerard? I knew there was something familiar about that deer. We must find the king before the hunters do. I'll stay here and try to find a way to break the spell. Leave no stone unturned, my little Smurfs. His life depends on it. Yes, Papa Smurf. King Gerard! Uh, King Gerard? Clumsy, what are you doing? Well, uh, Pop Smurf said to leave no stone unturned! Oh. King Gerard! Hello! King Gerard! King Gerard! Hurry, Grouchy! We've got to keep looking! I hate looking! Where can he be? <laughs> Look! Wait! Come back! Yeah! Yeah! He's headed toward Gray Air Gully! Come on! <laughs> there he goes! <laughs> He's getting tired! 
cures for antler rust, open mouth, grazing neck. No, oh, that's not right. him captured alive. Yes, yes your, your highness. highness. Thank you, dear friends. Once again, I owe you my life. If not for your kindness and the bravery of harmony in my dear clockwork, I might have been just another prize for Malcolm to hang on his wall. And what will become of Malcolm now, Your Majesty? I shall restore him to normal only after he is captured. <laughs> Perhaps my cousin will have learned a lesson after the dogs have snapped at his own heels for a while. Let's hear it for King Gerard! Hooray! 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 Now that's what I call cruelty to animals. Greedy gets when anybody's late for... Oh, Brainy, you know Nat. Yeah, natural smurf would be here all night if that's how long it took to fix that wing. There you go, Mrs. Hopper. All better. Come on, Nat, it's getting late. <laughs> Your baby fell out of the nest. Oh, well, there he goes again. <laughs> the walnut tree by Gargamel? Gargamel? I have to take care of a baby bird. Tell Papa Smurf I'll be late for lunch. And when he finds out you're off on another mission of mercy, he's... Oh, Brainy, you know Nat would never be able to live with himself if he didn't help that little bird. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Hello there, Mrs. Blue Jill. You don't say. Well, cats will be cats. Now, let's have a look at you, Twitter. You're gonna be fine. Just fine. Hold on, Twitter. I'll have you home in a minute. For tea song. I'd be delighted, but I'm expected home for dinner. Asriel, <laughs> where are you? Come out here, you sniveling cat. I brought you a friend. <laughs> uh oh. Easy now, I've almost got it. Oh! There. It's this fishbone that was giving you all that grief. I must say, you were very brave. Good grief, Azriel. Don't be such a coward. If you weren't so stupid, you'd know this fine specimen of a silver fang growler just wants to be friendly. <laughs> you might as well come down, Azriel. You two are going to be working together. Me? Thank 
Thank you for the delicious Smurf Berry Pie, Greedy. It was the best one you've ever made. I hope you saved a piece for natural Smurf. Oh, mm yum, -hmm. not exactly. Oh, that's okay, Greedy. I'm sorry I'm late, Papa Smurf, but between the grasshopper, the bird, the bear, and the bunny, it's been another full day. You must be hungry, Nat. Huh? You missed both lunch and dinner. It was worth it, Papa Smurf, as long as the little lost bunny learned a lesson. Lesson number one, this is a Smurf. Lesson number two, this is a Smurf Betty Bush. Lesson number three, sit. <laughs> I said, sit! <laughs> Moving on to lesson number four. Lesson number five. Always be careful to avoid human traps, especially if they're made out of iron. They hurt the most. The subject of lesson number six was enthusiasm, Azriel, of which you are showing very little, very little indeed. <laughs> Goodbye, my friends. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember to beware of those iron traps. <laughs> this is a Smurf Betty bush, and where there are Smurf Betties, there are Smurfs. Yeah! Oh, look, Feathers. Down there, it's one of those iron traps, and some poor creature needs our help. It sounds like an injured cat. <laughs> Don't you think that... Wouldn't it be more advisable if... Uh, perhaps if we slowed down and... <laughs> oh, Azriel. Don't worry, Azriel. I'll be back. I say we let the sleeping cat lie. It serves him right. Azriel is mean. Why should we help him? Because he'll die if we don't. Yeah, maybe we'll die if we do. Oh, dear. I wish Papa Smurf was here. I don't know what we should do. I say let's get out of here. <laughs> Will not one of you help me free this poor beast from its suffering? Will not one of you allow yourselves to feel Smurf for this poor injured animal who cries out to you in pain? <laughs> Don't cry, it's all right, Asriel. We're only trying to help you. Poof! Phew, that's some trap! What we need is a big stick for leverage. Here, this ought to smurf the job. It's all right, kitty. That's a nice pussy cat. Mm, don't just stand there, Brainy. Help me! Papa Smurf is not gonna like this at all. Not one bit. Now, if I've said it once, I've said it a hundred times. Papa Smurf's not going to like this at all. We know, Brainy. You've said it a hundred times. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Azriel, the blindfold stole. Uh, uh, uh. <sighs> Smurfs, you idiot, not dragons. <laughs> I'll num num you, you numbskull! All right, Smurf down! It's not what you think it is! Are you crazy bringing that monster killer cat into the village? <laughs> Smurf aside, let us have that wicked pussycat, Nat! Never! I mean never! All right, make room for Papa Smurf! Papa Smurf smurfing through! Nat! This time, you've taken your love of animals too far. Right! But Papa Smurf, please, just look at him. <coughs> Good heavens! Asriel was caught in one of Gargamel's traps. Amazing! I ask you, Papa Smurf, does this pitiful creature look like a dangerous animal? It sure does! Papa, that pussy is a killer! My little Smurfs, now I know we've all had our troubles with Azriel. I hate Azriel. We all hate Azriel. Haven't I always taught you to love all creatures great and Smurf? 
But Papa Smurf, that mean pussycat, always chases the Smurf. Yeah, yeah. how about that? I say throw him out. This poor creature is a living being. Are we Smurf or not Smurf? Well, well. We can't let Ezreal die. Careful, Smurfs. Now, let's all Smurf together. Hee-ho! 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 What do you think, Papa Smurf? Well, Brainy, a leopard cannot change his spots. My thought exactly. Growl, look, look, Growler, look! Smurf Prince! Whoa, boy, whoa! Don't you! Oh, whoa, whoa! Heel! Sit! Stay! Stop, you idiot! <laughs> Get out of my face, swamp breath! Phew! Well, Azriel, I see we're looking very smurfy this morning. Oh, Azriel! Would Kitty like more milk? Oh. How about a smurf berry tart? Azriel hates smurf berries! Papa Smurf! That lily root salve you smurfed up is amazing. Uh, yes, um, well, good. From the smurf of it, Azrael will soon be filling his old self again. That's what I'm afraid of. Look, look! <laughs> Fresh wagon tracks, and I smell smurf berries. We must be near the village. Did you hear that? I swear it's that worthless Azrael. Oh, Azrael! Azriel, you naughty kitty! <laughs> Papa Smurf! Oh no, Papa Smurf! It was just another one of Gargamel's tricks! No, Papa Smurf! I don't believe it! Where are you, pretty <laughs> Now, do you believe it? Now, nah, Smurf out of there! Now, now, Azriel, just calm down. Gargamel can't find you here. Hefty, Hefty, get the flower wagon and hurry! Azriel, is this any way to treat the Smurf who saved your life? <laughs> You've got their scent, Growler. Now, attack! <laughs> Not so fast! Not so fast! Ouch! 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 You stupid beast! Nat, are you all right? Uh, I guess so, Papa Smurf. Ezreal could have killed you. Well, I suppose he could, Papa Smurf, but he didn't. Amazing.